Hi, this is Bob from Turbot. If you're looking for a quick demo of Turbot Guardrails features, you're in the right spot. In this demo, we're going to show how you can use Turbot Guardrails to automatically convert your older generation EVS volumes to the latest. And so first I could just get started by understanding what are the volumes that I have out there in my environments by using the reporting tab. And so if I was interested in looking at the volumes within my Acme organization, I can quickly build a report to see all the volumes that are out there by which generation type. And so here I could see I have three volumes in GP2 and one in GP3. And for the purpose of the demo, I'm going to focus on how you could set up guardrails to automatically convert those GP2 volumes to the latest generation GP3. So I can head over to my policy tab. I can then search for EC2 volume. So that takes me right to the policies for EC2 volume and specifically going to click on the performance configuration policy set. So this guardrail is a suite of policies that will define the IOPS capacity, the throughput, and the volume type. So I already have set here on my volume type that I want to automatically convert to GP3. So I can simply set a static policy that I just say, hey, all of my volumes are always going to convert to GP3. And then I can make exceptions to the rule. Or I can build calculated policies that are dynamically derived based on conditions. So here as an example, if the volume's GP2 or it's IO1 and it's less than 16,000 IOPS, then I want to convert to GP3. Else, uh, leave it as is. And so any condition is possible. This is just an example. And so whether you statically want to just convert your older volumes to the latest generation, or you want to set conditional logic, as well as parameters for your IOPS and for your throughput, all of that is possible. Going back to my policy set, if I want to now set, so I've, here I've set that it's GP3, I'm going to use the defaults for IOPS and throughput. Now I'm going to create what I want to do with those policies. So I want to enforce that these configurations are always going to be applied on all of my volumes in the scope that I select. And so the scope that I'm selecting here is just my Acme organization. I can then move it to enforce mode. I can then update. Now that policy is set, Turbot Guardrail is going to identify all those volumes that we looked at in the reports page, and then it's going to take action to correct them. So I'll just head over to my Amazon account, which this is going to be applied to, go to EC2, then my volumes. And so here I have a collection of those three GP2 volumes as well as that GP3. Turbot right now is going out, it's identifying which volumes are in scope, it's orienting itself based on the policy posture, and then it's going to take action to automatically convert each of those GP2s to GP3. And so just give it a few more seconds and we can refresh, and then we'll see those, uh, see those volumes convert. Okay, so I'm going to convert, I'm going to refresh. So we can see here that Turbot's automatically uh, already started converting them. So the volume state here is now, it's available. So there's no downtime in doing this. Uh, but it's in a modifying state. So refresh again, you can see that it's already then um, close to 100% converted. The volume type here is now GP3 for each of them. And so guardrails can immediately then take action. So there's no scripting involved. You don't have to use the Amazon CLI. You don't have to go to each account and start converting it manually. Uh, you could simply just set that policy in a scope across one or many Amazon accounts and Turbot will take the action on your behalf. This is also true for any changes in your environment. So if I was to come in here and change the volume type to, let's say, GP2, Turbot would then react to that and automatically convert it back to GP3. Or if I was to create a new volume, and so let's say uh, someone created a different volume, whether it's a cold HD uh, or uh, you were using GP2, and they created it through Pipeline or through Terraform or CloudFormation or the console here, Turbot's going to pick up that new volume and it's automatically going to then convert it uh, to GP3. And so here we'll give it uh, a few seconds and then do a refresh. Turbot right now is discovering uh, that a creation event of that volume. It's then analyzing the policy and the posture, and then it's going to take action to convert this to GP3. So first, Amazon's gonna complete the creation, and once it's done being created, that's when that volume of uh, creation event ships uh, to Turbot, and then we take immediate action. Okay, now that volume is available, uh, we can then wait for Turbot then to uh, take a remediation action. Do a refresh. All right, Turbot already took that quick action. So now that volume is 
already converted to a GP3, uh, and it's going through the steps here to, to automatically convert. And so Turbot works within seconds of identifying the any creations or updates and then taking action within your environment. Customers are using this guardrail to not only increase performance by using the latest generations, but also it's, it can realize the significant cost savings. So if you're interested in trying out these new guardrails, reach out to us at turbot.com start.